To cook black bean hummus, you will need cooked black beans with the water, olive oil, cumin, cayenne pepper, paprika, squeezed lemon juice, garlic, tahini sauce, salt, and pepper. Hi, my name is Rosa, and let's go make some black bean hummus. In the process of making hummus, there is a very important step, and after that step, any way you go, it will be fine. But the first two ingredients that you have to mix together are the tahini and the lemon. And this is more particularly important when you're doing other types of hummus, when you're using chickpeas instead, which is the traditional hummus. Um, the reason why you want to mix these two together first is that they will blend in together very well. So we're going to put the tahini sauce. Uh, tahini sauce can be used in quantities of preference. Some people like a very strong flavor of tahini sauce. Other like just like a, a, a little bit. Um, a good rule of thumb is um, about a quarter of a cup per uh, 15 ounces of uh, black beans, which would be like basically like two cups. Um, you could use less. In this case, we're using a little bit less, which in, in a good way, it's better because uh, tahini sauce is very high on fat. Uh, but if you're a vegetarian, this is a good way to get, you know, the fat intake that you need in your, in your diet. Um, so we have here the tahini sauce, and here we have about like four tablespoons, um, and that's about right. So we're gonna blend it together. This is very pro. <laughs> okay. So that seems to be pretty well mixed together. You can just take a look and it usually just goes, it takes in like a more of a whitish color with the lemon juice. Um, we could have used more sesame sauce or less, um, it's just a matter of taste. We're just gonna put in the garlic. So we're just gonna cut the garlic. Just be careful. So we have here what would give you four cans, like regular 15 ounces of can. And for every can, I would use about half a teaspoon of salt. So in this case, we would use about two teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna put one and a half first, and then depending on how salty it is, we can determine whether we want more or not. We have half, so I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put like almost about two tablespoons of these. This is what, I, this is what it's gonna give a very nice flavor. I just put a little bit, like one eighth of a teaspoon, just a little bit. What kind of flavor does the black bean add to the hummus? So if you eat meat or, or not, um, it's basically much of a meatier flavor. Have you ever had regular hummus um, with um, chickpeas? Sure. It just tastes like chickpeas and it has more like a bean flavor. But this one has more like a very heavy flavor. In a way, it's like a Mexican hummus that, but, and spicy too. Okay. After this last blend, we're gonna start adding the, uh, the olive oil. This looks really good. About two tablespoons of olive oil. You can add up to three. Then again, it's more about, you know, what's your preference in the flavor. This is basically done. So you guys can see it's pretty easy. Other ingredients that I have used to like, you know, you, you can, you don't have to use all the same ingredients. You can add more things as you like. I have used onion, and, like actual fresh onions. I will put it in and it gives a nice flavor. Um, I have used cilantro too, and it gives a nice flavor to it too. And another spice that I've used that um, you can find it, um, the only place I found it so far locally is in Korean or like Asian supermarket and it's called Kulantro. And um, it also gives it a very nice flavor, more like to the herby side. It's very good. So now we're just gonna serve it outside. 
Yeah. Yeah, it does look like all chocolate ice cream. I used to make sometimes for my friends black bean hummus and then regular hummus, and it looked like I was just bringing vanilla ice cream and chocolate ice cream. So this is a great texture, it's very creamy and um, you can eat it with pretty much anything that you would like to try. I have eaten it with chips, with bread, on top of salads, instead of eating chips you can just like cut a bunch of peppers and then you just eat it like that, like a snack. Good? Mm -hmm. you want to try it? You want to try it? It's not spicy, so you should be fine. <laughs> and would you please join us for lunch? Yes, I will. We're gonna mm -hmm. go upstairs and uh, we're gonna share this beautiful recipe with everyone. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. black bean hummus that is a full and healthy meal. You can just make yourself a salad with all the greens that you like and vegetables and then just dump it on top of it and just eat it. Um, or you can take like a pita bread like pocket and you can stuff it with vegetables and with the hummus and you can just eat it as a sandwich. And Enjoy. Well, I'm grateful for the food, the wonderful food that we have before us, and the community, the creativity that went into creating all this on this hot and beautiful day. And it's been a wonderful season, and here's to Uptown Summer, too. I like the bean and the texture, and it's, it's all really good. Yeah. It's a nice oily flavor. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate coming together once a week to enjoy a meal together, um, inspired by neighborhood chefs. And it's nice to consume the fruition of hard work with a lot of wonderful people. So thank you very much.